Uh, good afternoon, students. I hope all of you are doing good. My name is uh, Tahir Afiklun. I will be your uh, chemistry tutor. So today in this session, we are going to discuss a very important topic and interesting one that is going to be balancing. Okay, I will request all of you to bring a notebook so that you can pen down important points. And if you have any doubt, you can ask your doubt without any hesitation. Okay, so can you tell me students, what is valency, how you can define valency? Huh, that is really nice, very good. Valency is the combining capacity of an element. In simple terms, we can define valency as the combining capacity, or you can say it is the number of electrons loss, gain, or shared by an atom. How many electrons an atom is losing, gaining, or sharing? Okay, that will be the valency. Now a very important question arises here, why an element is losing, gaining or sharing electrons? So for that students, we will discuss a very important elements in our periodic table that is group 18 elements. We will briefly discuss them. Group 18 elements are known as noble gases. Okay, for example, we have helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon. So if you will see these noble gases, all noble gases except helium have eight electrons in their outer motion. That means they have completed their octet. Okay, let's take an example to understand. Let's take an example of neon. Neon has atomic number of 10. Please remember atomic number is the number of protons in an atom. And if an atom is neutral, that means it doesn't have any charge, positive or negative charge. Positive charge is formed when an atom loses electron and negative charge is there when an atom gains electron. Okay, when it is neutral, so number of protons will be equal to number of electrons. So neon has here 10 protons, atomic number. That means it is neutral, no charge. 10 electrons will be there. K shell will accommodate two electrons. Now the remaining eight electrons will go into L shell. So its electronic configuration is two comma eight. So it is very much stable. It has eight electrons in it is outer motion. So all noble gases except helium have eight electrons in their outer motion. Helium is also stable. Helium's atomic number is two. K shell can accommodate maximum of two electrons. So helium is also stable. It has completed, it is duplet. So this is the criteria for stability. So what other elements try to do? They try to copy these noble gases. They try to become as stable as that of noble gases. For that, they either lose electron, gain electron or share electron. That will be our valency. To understand it, uh, let's take a few example, okay? How elements try to copy these noble gases. I will request all of you make sure that you are writing down the important points on your notebooks. <clears throat> okay, so we will take an example of sodium. Sodium's atomic number is 11. That means 11 protons, since it is neutral, 11 uh, electrons will be there. Let's write it as electronic configuration. K shell will accommodate two electrons. L shell eight, eight plus two is 10. Okay, the remaining one electron will go into M shell. Now here you can see students, it will not be stable sodium. So what it will do, it will try to lose or gain electron or share electron to become stable. Now what sodium do student? we can see that it can gain seven electrons. That is one way to become stable. Seven plus one is eight to complete octet, but that will be very difficult to 
add seven electrons to sodium, it has an easy way out to become stable. It will simply lose this one electron. Okay, when it loses one electron, please remember when a neutral atom loses an electron, it will have a positive charge. So as soon as it loses one electron, it will be Na plus two and it is electronic configuration will be two comma eight. K shell two electrons, L shell eight electron. So you can clearly see it has become stable. Okay, so how many electrons it has lost? One, so it is valency will be one. Okay, similarly students, let's take another example, a very important example of chlorine. Chlorine has atomic number of 17. 17 electrons will be there. K shell will accommodate two electrons. L shell maximum eight electrons can be accommodated. Eight plus two is 10. Remaining seven electrons will go into M shell. Now, what is the easy way out to become stable for chlorine? It will simply gain one electron. Seven plus one is eight. So it gains one electron. So it is valency will also be one. Okay, it will be Cl negative because when a neutral atom gains one electron, it is charge becomes negative. Okay, it acquires a negative charge. That means it has gained one electron. So sodium losing one electron, valency one. Chlorine gaining one electron valency one because valency is the number of electrons la loss, gain or shared. I hope these things are clear. We will be discussing some other important things, how you can remember the valency. There are certain tricks, students, that will be discussed in the next session. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye, everyone.